What I am, family? It's your boy SN TV. Back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And this episode is going to be about none other than Fredo Santana, aka Fredo in the Cut. Fredo comes from that dip set, 61st in Indiana. BDs. Man, this dip set, 61st in Indiana, Chicago. Fredo played a big part of that GBE 300 movement that actually sparked the drill scene. He's definitely looked at as one of the fathers of the drill scene. You got a whole lot of people that respect Fredo. Why do you have so many people that respect Fredo? And why were there so many people showing Fredo his proper due after he died. Well, for one, Fredo was always like a big brother in that Front Street area. He was known for getting money. He ain't never been no bitch. Allegedly, Fredo is identified, you know what I'm saying, with like two bodies. Whether that's 110% true, I don't know, but I do know that the streets had a lot of respect for Fredo, and the streets don't respect pussy niggas. Like, they just don't. So, by the streets having so much respect for Fredo, it tells me that Fredo had some type of street credibility. Now, Fredo was the type of guy, ever since he was young, he was a hustler. And it was a lot of guys that looked up to Fredo because Fredo had a lot of good ideas on how to get money. A lot of people don't know this, but Fredo was actually the one behind Chief Keith actually even hopping into the rap game, doing some of the songs that he did. Fredo had a lot of good ideas, and Chief Keith looked up to Fredo. Chief Keith and Fredo were very, very close. You know, that Front Street alignment. And also, you know, Fredo was the type of guy, he was cool with just about every BD in the city. He was cool with a lot of Stones. He was also cool with a lot of GDs. He did what everybody does, you know. When you can get out the hood, that's what you do. You get out, of hood, out the hood. You don't stay in the hood. A lot of people think that, like, okay, if you get money and move out the hood, then that makes you some type of bitch or something like that. That's the type of thinking that I don't understand. He did what what anybody else in that position is supposed to do. What is that? He got out of the hood. But when Fredo went back to Chicago, Fredo always got much love and respect, even on the west side of Chicago. I remember one time, and it was, like, kind of one of the last times that Fredo was just out and about like that. He was... You know, in the streets, he was, I want to say he was on the west side of Chicago. He was on the south side. And he was walking around in uh, in the bathrobe. And, like, this kind of tells me, and it kind of makes emphasis on him being comfortable in the streets. You see what I'm saying? That's what I kind of think that he was trying to say. You know, he ain't out here strapped to none. He in the bathrobe, but he got shorties with him that's going to do that to you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Fredo was the type of guy, he was no nonsense and if he had to have some, you know what I'm saying, if, if it came down to, you know, something being done to you, it was going to be done on Fredo's word and it was nothing nobody can do. That's what type of juice Fredo had. I seen a tweet that he uh, he tweeted out against the Migos and he talked about how if the Migos didn't leave Capo alone, that he would kill all of them and do and go do his, go do his time. You know what I'm saying? This is when GBE Capo and the Migos was into it. I'm not sure about what they were into it about, but I do know that they got into a confrontation and Fredo stepped up. And he stepped up because Fredo has always played that big brother role over there. A lot of De Fredo's death, not only did it hurt a lot of people because they loved uh Fredo, it kind of hurt um Front Street. And why do I say that? Because Fredo was kind of like the link back to Front Street. Now, a lot of people may say, "Well, Chief Keith is too." Yes, Chief Keith is, but Chief Keith wasn't dealing with a lot of the guys, and he still is not dealing with a lot of the guys like Fredo dealt with a lot of the guys. This is why they loved him so much. There's countless names uh, that Fredo has, you know, taken out the hood uh, on tours, you know, just with him. He also started Savage Squad, which is the name that Front Street started going by after Fredo started the Savage Squad Records label. You also had a lot of people in the industry that fuck with Fredo. Um, specifically, one being 50 Cent, another one being Beanie Siegel. So, you know, he was kind of very well connected in the industry. And not only was he well connected in the industry, he was well connected with some, you know, some big time, you know, stars that also good in the hood, too. You know, he had such a street aura to him. It was like 
you know, he fucked with gangsters and gangsters fucked with him and niggas could just tell that he was a real one. Now, a lot of people say that Fredo Santana, you know, he used to diss people. And I think that if he was dissing people, that was probably in his earlier days because I have yet to find um, a record or anything like that that I've actually said listen to of Fredo's that, you know, he was actually just specifically dissing somebody or, you know, somebody's dead hoods. And I don't think that, it, I, I think it's a lot of people that feel the same way because no one diss Fredo. I seen one person diss Fredo. Um, actually, I seen two people diss Fredo, but when he first died, I only seen like one person diss Fredo. And of course, that was Goonie Looney. And another thing that I found very interesting about Fredo is that his savagery was influenced by 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying. And you could tell that in the way he moved, how he acted on an everyday basis. You getting money, I can't get nothing with you, then fuck you. 50 Cent actually influenced a lot of us around that time. As a matter of fact, Fredo Santana called 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying drill music. And I noticed that at first, when GBE first started doing their thing, when 300, all of them were real close, you know, Fredo started doing his thing. He came out with the record label and things of that nature. He was going crazy. He was doing a lot of features. And then his guys started to die. Um, Blood Money, he was real close to Blood Money. Blood Money ended up dying first. And then Capo, who he was very close to, ended up dying. And I think that that kind of affected, you know, how Fredo looked at things, I think that that kind of affected his music also. He, he began to do drugs a lot heavier than he was doing them. And um, in 2014, actually after um, GBE Blood Money died, you would see him, you know, posting a lot more with the lean, and a lot, you know, doing a lot more smoking and things of that nature. And, I, you know, I can understand that too because it's like, you know, throughout all the pain, to an extent, you know, you get numb, but at the same time, it's like you still have to do something to try to take your mind off all of the pain because it's at the end of the day, we still human beings. We still, you know, creatures of love. And when somebody close to us dies or gets hurt or something like that, you know, we're going to automatically feel some type of way. We just may express them, you know, express our feelings different. And with Fredo, I think that Fredo started doing, you know, more heavy drugs once, you know, certain people that were close to him started dying. And I kind of feel like, in a way, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a dichotomy. What I mean by that is a contradiction because it's like Chief Keith, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's doing a lot of dissing at the time, especially, you know, when Blood Money got killed. Chief Keith was doing a lot of dissing and things of that nature. And, you know, Fredo Santana was pretty much kind of like, you know, not necessarily co-signing it, but he wasn't really saying nothing about it. And then guys ended up, you know, getting killed behind it. And so, like, I kind of feel like that maybe he may have felt responsible in some type of way for uh, for those two guys getting killed. Now, dealing with Fredo's death, Fredo actually died from epilepsy. But a lot of people say that, you know, by him taking the heavy drugs and drinking the lean and, and things of that nature, which the lean did put him in the hospital. And after the lean put him in the hospital, he pledged to stop drinking lean. And then he died shortly after that. And a lot of people say that he had drunk so much lean that, you know, this is what caused the epilepsy. Now, God, we thank you for this in Jesus name. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God. Fredo, man. Oh boy, Fredo. Little baby, man. Little baby, Fredo. Fredo, 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 Fredo. I actually haven't read the toxicology report, but I don't think that it was any lean in his system. At the time of his death, because I think that that's something that, you know, would have definitely been out there. But, you know, we are dealing with people with money. And when you got money, you know, you can basically make some shit be any way that you want it to be. Not to say that Fredo was only, you know, at the time of his death. But I'm just saying, 
Like, you know, that's something that we'll probably really honestly never know. Do I believe that he was? I believe that Fredo, I believe that Fredo might have stopped, but he was, he had drunk so much. A lot of people don't realize you can do something so much that your body becomes immune to it. And when your body becomes immune to it, then it begins to need those things. It begins to, to crave those things. And your body gets so adjusted to these drugs to the point to where when you stop doing them, it affects your body because of that withdrawal is a motherfucker. Now, when you're dealing with the heavier drugs, the heavier the drug, the harder it is to stop doing it. Why? Because you actually get sick when you leave these drugs alone, because like I said, it's something that you're feeding your body constantly and your body becomes dependent on the drug. And when it doesn't have, you know, the drug, it reacts in all type of different ways. I think that what we can learn ultimately about Fredo Santana's death is that no matter what's going on in your life, no matter the circumstances, no matter what you're going through, just like it's raining, the sun is going to always come back out. We cannot use drugs to escape reality. You see what I'm saying? And furthermore, those drugs that we abuse, that we feel like, you know, we only live once and, you know, YOLO and all of these things, they're definitely going to affect you, if not now, in the long run. This is why... A lot of people at a young age are starting to get Alzheimer's and things of this nature because it's like our brains are fried because of all of the drugs that we're doing while we're young. When you're doing the harder drugs, man, that shit affects you a lot faster and it affects you a lot more. And, you know, Fredo kind of comes from that generation to where, you know, it's cool to do drugs, you know, the future, the future generation where it's cool to, you know, drink lean and it's it's cool to um, pop pills and things of that nature. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said, y'all, you know, no matter what you're going through, never try to use drugs to escape your reality. Because when you come down off of your high, that reality is still going to be there. It's your boy SNTV. I'm out. I speak in these bonnets, finesse 100 Focus on making some money, get on the track and go dummy Bitches a rap like a mummy, I'm a human tsunami Shoot up your block with a Tommy, as soon as they see me they running Niggas they know how I'm coming, hop out the car and I'm dumping Bagging and flipping, no fumble, paper I wash and no tumble I'm so humble, I'm so ready to rumble Swing at your face and you stumble, nigga I do what I wanna Just to be honest, nigga I do what I wanna Just to be honest, just to be honest, nigga I do what I wanna Just to be honest, just to be honest